Guess what day it is? It's fun facts with Discord Day. Are you ready? Me too. Let's do it. In 2008, a Brazilian Catholic priest died after disappearing during a flight in a special chair with 1,000 balloons tied to it. He was very famous in his city for doing similar flights, but this time he pretended to beat the most during flight of this kind record. After all these happened, he became known in Brazil as Padre do Belo, in English, the balloon priest. He was a winner of the Darwin Award, and just in case you were wondering, this is really a fact. You can look it up in the internet. In the internet, not on the internet. In the internet. Go deep. The camera function in Smash Brothers Ultimate allows for you to see the more details in certain stages than you could in the previous entries. An example of that is in the Nintendog stage, there is a lit fireplace on the wall to the right, but it's not fully animated. Another detail can be seen in the Foresight stage where you can actually move the camera inside the buildings and see that almost every one of them has an actual interior. It kind of makes you wonder if they had an idea to actually incorporate the interiors in Foresight. Well, what do I know? I'm not a Smash guy. I just do the funny voices. Only 5% of the world's population are native English speakers. However, if you include everyone who picked up English as a second language, then more than a third of the world's population speaks English, making English the dominant lingua franca. So the next time somebody tells you to start speaking English, you just go to them and say, Baldi Basic, you listen right here. Only 5% of you speak English, so shut the French toast up. You could choose to swear if you want to. I mean, I just... Yeah. The Pokemon Lucario can be defined as a glass cannon in both the Pokemon games and the Super Smash Brothers games purely because of the fact that its Pokedex entry states that the more damage it takes, the stronger its aura gets. And that's fun to think about because that's kind of like saying logic and also Lucario was voiced by Sean Samel who voices Goku who is also saying an oh my god film theory. No one tell me that. World of Warcraft has its own make-a-wish story. There's an NPC with an odd voice in Mulgor. He has a beginner's quest of asking you to find his pet dog. He is the only NPC with that voice in the game. Why? The creator of the character was a make-a-wish kid who got the tour Blizzard Studio as his wish. Since World of Warcraft was his escape from the hospital. While there, he designed the quest, the character, voiced it, and on top of all that, got to design and name the PvP rewards for Season 2 of Arenas, as well as design one of the awards. The NPC is friendly to both sides of the game, and while it won't offer the quest, he won't call the guards if you drop by to visit as an alliance. The dog running around the camp he is in is named after his real-life pet. That's actually the most touching thing I've heard all day. And finally, on April Fool's Day, 1976, BBC announced that Pluto would soon pass behind Jupiter and reduce Earth's gravity, which would cause listeners to feel like they were floating if they jumped into the air at exactly 9.47 a.m. It was meant as a joke, but hundreds of people called in claiming they felt the Jovian Plutonian gravitational effect. It's stuff like that that makes me realize that's why Monty Python makes fun of BBC so much. Well, I hope you all have a fantastic Monday and that it's worry free, but then again, it's Monday and things always happen because life's fun like that. Okay, bye.